Good evening, everybody. Um, Derby here. It's been a very trying day for me um, in so many different ways. Um, let me put it this way. I've said this before many times, is that before I became, a, when I be actually became a Christian and started walking as a Christian and trusting the Christian, one of the hardest things for me, um, because I've always been strong within myself. I, I, I left my last foster home at the age of 17 and hitchhiked around the country and, um, and did not know what could happen or never thought about it and always was on my own. Put myself through Bible college, put myself, well, before that, culinary school, things like that. And um, one of the hardest things as a Christian is that sometimes, you know, there's a variety of sins, you know, that you can call sins in your life. What may be a sin in one person's life may not always be a sin in another person's life. And it depends, no, don't get me wrong, there are general sins that are in everybody's life. Well, we know what some of them sins are. But uh, I'm sorry, I, I've been crying. Don't, so hey, I'm, I'm a man, but a man can cry. Uh, the hardest thing for me as a sin right now is learning how to be humble. And it's, it's not easy. I don't like being in a position of asking. And I've been that way. And the last thing I want, because I keep saying, God, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to use people. I don't want to, I don't want that, you know? And God keeps trying to remind me that he's trying to teach other people to be givers, as well as he's trying to teach me to be a taker. Because I've always been able to be the one to give. Right now, I'm not really able to do that. Excuse me for a second. I'm sorry about that. And where I'm at is like now, I'm, I'm having to learn how to be humble. And it's a very hard thing for me. I don't like to feel vulnerable. And I am now. And so, in saying that, I've had some very good people with the graciousness of their heart and being moved by the Holy Spirit to help me out. And, um, I, 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 and there's been other, other people out there who've been helping me out. And I just like to say that, you know, sometimes we all have to go through our own walk. Uh, every, every, everyone has to go through their own walk in their, in their, in, in being a Christian. Um, you have to work out your own salvation. And, and in doing so, there's certain areas we all have to, have, have to learn how to, to walk in. Mine right now is to be a humble man. And like I said, for a small man who's had to do it on his own, you know, as a younger guy, I had fights picked on me and had to show that a little man can do things. Well, as I get older, that little man isn't capable of always doing the things that he used to do. I used to make a joke saying that, you know, I, I'm a, I even have a song, I, 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 I'm like a superman with holes in his cape. You know, I, I don't fly as well as I used to. And in saying that is that, you know, at the same time as God is testing your faith, testing, testing us, all of us, in our different paths, and, and our different levels of growing in that, in that level of uh, measure of faith. Uh, we all have our different areas, and God's going to work, work us if we're allowing him to do so, to bring us up, to train us. Like I said, some people are weaker in some things than others, and God works in everybody in that. Some people are stronger and sometimes a little too strong in certain areas, and God wants you to work on that as he's working on me. I, I have things I'm working out. I'm, I've had a friend of mine who talked to me that I'm going tomorrow talk, I'm going to try to go over the heads of my, uh, 
apartment complex. See, they won't take, I have the money to pay them for the rent, but they don't, they won't take it unless I pay them the $100 late fee. And I'm, oh, it's only the ninth. The sixth was the last day. They won't let me go. And if I don't get it in by the 15th, they're drawing up, you know, papers to, to get me kicked out. After six years, five or six years of being here, being a good tenant and, and paying my bills, I feel that, you know, I'm being railroaded here and there's no reason for it. You know, there's no reason why they can't, you know, uh, I was willing to say I'd, I'd pay a little bit here and there just to make up for it that wasn't good enough. So tomorrow I'm going to be calling downtown to I think they call the tax office. And I'm going to get the number because they won't give it to me at the office of the actual owners of this property. And I'm going to talk directly to the owners. And I'm going to let them know the situation. And I'm going to see if maybe, just maybe, uh, for the future, or maybe this time, that they're going to allow me just to pay my basic rent. And I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to be praying on it first. And if anybody's listening to me, please pray on that too. I mean, we're all Christians and on this together. And we all need to stick together. And it always says, when you're praying in power, the prayers of righteous man avails much, and those more than, if two or more are gathered together in his name, and we pray, even though we could be miles or, or, or miles apart, right? Doesn't matter. If we're praying for the same thing, that they hear my, 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 my request, and, 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 they, and they listen and understand and reason. I, I'm not trying to get over anybody. It's just that I'm, I feel that I have a right to, 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 to be able to be treated with a little bit more respect and dignity than I'm being treated right now. Like I said, I'm, I'm not racist or prejudiced against anybody, but at the same time, be, I am supposed to be an American citizen. I was born in this stinking country, and, and, and even though I don't believe in America the way it's supposed to be, that doesn't change the fact that I live here. I have a paper stating that I was born in this country. And the thing of it is, they're bringing people over here that have no right to get whatever they're getting. $22, $2,600 gift cards and all kinds of stuff. Allowing them to get guns and all kinds. Giving them a place to live. And I'm sitting here and I'm getting ready to get kicked out. And I'm doing the right thing. Doesn't fly. Doesn't fly with me. It shouldn't fly with you. And I know it doesn't fly with God. So, I say that. And the one thing I'm going to read, which is one of my favorite scripture references, and I hope it's yours, because we're all sometimes backed up against the wall. And, um, and um, we all need to, to recognize that God is working for us. God's working in us. We have the power of the Holy Spirit and we should not be treated any less than what we are. We are royalty. We belong to the Heavenly Father. We're joint heirs with Christ Jesus. And, 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 and we deserve better than what we're getting. If you have a Bible and you want to read along with me, please do. Psalm 23. I'll give you a little bit of a moment. Let's all read out loud together. Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For, art, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I believe that. So should you. For God does not let us down. It is us who let God down. And if we continue walking in the Spirit and in the power of the Holy Spirit of Christ, how can we ever let God down? And we know that God is always there. It is us who turn away from Him when He's silent. 
And sometimes he stays silent, so we come to him. God doesn't do things that, that, that are behind the curtain. God lets us know. It's just whether we see it and whether we hear it. It's whether we feel that tap on the shoulder and that warmth of him hugging us. And sometimes that little breeze, meaning that he's rushing in front of us to guide our way. Sometimes it's hard to see. And many times we feel alone. But I guarantee you, if, if Christ is in you, you're never alone. I guarantee you as a child of God, you shall rise to the occasion and God will never let us down. His purpose is for us to grow. His purpose is for us to achieve. His purpose is for us to be able to have so we can be an example to others and to be the doulos he wants us to be and also the ambassadors. That when people see us, they see him. They see what Jesus is through us. And when we walk in faith, this is what they should want. Never doubt yourself. I was almost doubting myself today. And I've been pulled up. I've been, I've, I've been, I've been almost in fear today. And I don't like feeling that. And God showed me that I don't need to be there. And when I had some fellow Christians that came to my aid just within the last hour, I am so humble. And like I said, that's a hard, hard thing for me. I don't like to be humbled. I, I don't like to, to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm with, without availability to do it on my own. It's very, very hard for me. And I'm learning a very, very hard lesson. And I thank you for, like I said, for all of you who pray for me. I thank for all of you who have given. For God will never forget that. And God will give you. Because you're not doing it blindly. Not like the people blindly sign checks to television ministries and stuff not recognizing that what they're giving they're not going to get back because they're giving to something and someone who does not give back i give back to you i give back my heart i give back what god teaches me i try to bless you through my music so i don't get what i'm not giving at least that's what i believe and so in saying all that, pray for those people who need prayer. Pray for the people in Maui. Don't forget those people. Pray for those people in harm's way in all these stupid wars and anywhere in storms that if they die, they die saved. And continue praying for me as I continue praying for all of you. I love you all in Christ Jesus. Derby Jack out. And I hope to see you all on the other side.